Would you welcome, please, evangelist, author, Billy educator, Graham. Billy Graham. He was uh, unparalleled in my judgment. Never give in. He's been an inspiration. He's been a friend. The president reached out to him because they wanted what he had. He was a giant. We won't see his likes again. Billy Graham preached to more people in person than anyone else in the world. Although he never sought fame, the message he proclaimed filled stadiums and arenas decade after decade. When you see crowds like that, you have to ask the question, what is the secret? Why did so many thousands gather at any one time to hear his message? My father tried to speak in such a way that the common person would be able to understand him. He wasn't trying to impress anybody. He just wanted to communicate. So he's a simple message that Jesus loves you and you need to accept him. Although this simple presentation was intentional, it drew criticism from some. But Billy Graham was never apologetic about the message he preached. Now some people have said, why don't you make your messages more intellectual? Some of the scientists said, why don't you talk on science? Some of the ministers said, why don't you talk more to ministers? I am an evangelist. My primary message is to the people outside the church and outside of the gospel. God sent his son to rescue the world in spite of our rebellion, in spite of our sin. God said, I love you. My father had a great burden for the souls of men and women. He always rejoiced for souls that were saved. One of the things I liked about Billy Graham is that he was teachable. It was not about the man, but it was about the message that he was going to preach. Early in his ministry, he learned a critical truth that I think impacted his preaching from that day forward. I preached on this particular night and very few people responded to the appeal to receive Christ. But there was a German businessman, a devout man of God. He put his arm around me and he said, Billy, do you know what was wrong tonight? I said, what was it, John? He said, you didn't preach the cross. The next night I preached on the blood of Christ and a great host of people responded. Now, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, he didn't die by accident. He died by design. It was planned by God for your redemption and your salvation. When I stand before God, I do not want justice. If I get justice, I'm lost. I want mercy. I want forgiveness. And that's what God offers me from the cross. He died on the cross. He was made to be sin for us. And on that cross, he took the hand of God with one of his hands and your hand with the other, and he reconciled God and man. There was no need for hype, gimmicks, or techniques. Oh God, I am a sinner. It's the preaching of the cross in the power of the Spirit that explains the true secret of evangelism. And Billy Graham understood that. In Christ's name. Amen.